Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over three more team reviews and give some subscribers some team advice. The three subscribers today are going to be This Is Me 119, Swaces, and then Jay Leg. Going to give in depth reviews of their teams, put them side by side as we always do. Their original team will be on the right, my review will be on the left. Let's get into it. The first team we're going to be going over in this review is going to be This Is Me. As you can see, his username is YTry74, though, on NHL Hub Builder. On his first line, he has the 93 overall Steven Samkos 94 flashback. Centerman is going to be Sean Couturier, 92 fantasy hockey. Then the 92 overall Jack Hughes, NHL 2030. First defensive pairs, Philip Myers and Sergey Gonchar. That's the blockbuster Sergey Gonchar and the 92 overall Philip Myers. Second line is bronze icon Guy Lafleur. Silver icon Joe Neuendijk. Silver icon Daryl Sittler. Second defensive pair is going to be 92 overall Kale McCarr, Fantasy Hockey. Then the silver icon, Brad Park. Third liners are Mario Lemieux, past meets present. The Eric Lindros, 94 overall, Blockbuster. The 91 overall, Winter National, Marion Gabrick, Master Set Player. Third defensive pair is going to be the Wheelman, John Carlson from Hut Halloween. Then Jack Johnson's Winter National, 89 overall. Fourth line is going to be Mike Gartner, silver icon. Guy Carboneau, silver icon. And Martin St. Louis, silver icon. Pretty good fourth line. A lot of synergies here. It really helps the team. Goaltenders are Andre Vasilevsky, team of the year. 97 overall at this point. I'm sure he'll have a 99 before the year's over. He's having a fantastic year in the NHL. Then Benjamin Gaudreau. Dale Peterson, three barrage to activate barrage as the coach. Looking at this, it gives him gladiator, howitzer, speedster, wingman, shutdown, workhorse, barrage, distributor, spark, and swarm. I mean, he has a really, really good team. We're going to see what we can do to improve it in certain spots and rework it a little bit. There's not too much you can do with this team, but there are definitely a few improvements that you could make just to solidify the team a little bit more, in my opinion. So let's see what we can do. His original team will be on the right. My team review will be on the left. So starting out, we have the first line, Stamkos, Couturier, Hughes. Going to say the exact same. On the first defensive pair, we have the first major change. We're going to take Ray Bork, bring him in, Silver Icon. And then we're going to build the 95 Styles Icon, P.K. Subban. Except we're not going to take the one that has two Spark. Instead, we're going to have the one with Distributor, Swarm, and two Wingman, which actually makes his Subban have 97 acceleration and 93 speed. Obviously, he has a... Max shot at 99 wrist shot and slap shot power, then 93 wrist shot accuracy. It actually makes him play to 97.2 with how this card is built with the synergies he has. Phenomenal card. will probably be one of the best right-handed defensemen in the game. Plus, if you build a 95, you also have the option to get a defenseman with two spark. The second line, we're going to keep Guy Lafleur on the left wing, Daryl Sittler on the right wing. We're going to bring this 93 Sidney Crosby, 94 flashback. He has Barrage, Speedster, and Thief gets activated. By doing this, you get a Crosby that has 98 face-offs. The rest of the card's almost maxed or as close to, to an endgame card that you can have in Sidney Crosby right now. Everything's at least 90-plus except for his shot blocking, discipline, and fighting skills. The offense is phenomenal. 95 acceleration, 96 speed. He plays it to a 95.65 with everything activated. Really like the way this card looks. Heck of a second-line center. You should probably be your first-line center over Couturier, but we'll leave Couturier up there because that's who you had on your first line. Second defensive pair stays unchanged with McCarr and Park. On the third line is where we have some more changes. So I noticed you did not have your 94 overall style icon yet. I suggest that you pick up Austin Matthews, 94 overall, which means we're going to get rid of this Marion Gabrick. We're going to keep Eric Lindros at center. However, we're switching to the Eric Lindros that has two distributor, Thief, and Wingman. The reason we're taking this Eric Lindros over the other version of Eric Lindros is you get the same acceleration that you have with Workhorse. Yes, with Workhorse, obviously, you get a little bit more durability, some more balance, which actually doesn't matter because he has 99 balance. And you do lose plus three on the endurance, but 95 endurance is more than enough. By having Thief activated, his faceoffs, instead of being 95, he has 99 faceoffs, making Lindros probably the best faceoff man in the game. He actually plays at a higher 96.25 compared to a 96 overall when you activate these two more player synergies. I just think it's a better move, in my opinion, to take this Eric Lindros and we can make it work with the rebuild. And you have both of them because obviously he's untradeable, so you did the collection. Upgrade this Lemieux from 91 to 94. I think that's pretty obvious. Something you should be working on. He's probably the best player in the game right now. Third defensive pair, John Carlson's out. Jack Johnson out. Sergey Gonchar goes from the first defensive pair down to the third defensive pair. As you can see, Gonchar is still here on this team. And 
Myers goes down from the first pair to the third pair. Now you could put Gonchar with Makar. However, I think Park's a better fit with Makar because I think that the speed, a little bit smaller, and then Park plays very big even though he's not the biggest defenseman. So I think that's actually a really good defensive pair, so I didn't want to separate that. Mike Gartner is going to stay on the left wing here. Martin St. Louis stays on the right wing. We're going to get rid of Guy Carboneau. Joe Neuendijk goes from the second line to the fourth line. I think he's probably the best bottom six centerman in the game. He has all the attributes you need to have an amazing bottom six centerman, 96 faceoffs, pretty good skating. He has all the body checking, defensive awareness, stick checking that you need. And he's six foot two, 205 pounds, so he is a great penalty killer. Vasilevsky Gaudreau is going to be your goaltenders. Peterson stays your coach. What this does is, yes, it is adding some coins, moving some stuff around, but I think it's just a slightly way to improve your team. Your team's already amazing. Like You already have an endgame team, maybe one or two pieces here or there as the game moves on. Who knows what the event cards are going to be like, so maybe this isn't the best solution come this Friday whenever the NHL All-Star event comes out. But I think right now, based on the cards that are out in the game, I think this is the best way to kind of rework your roster a little bit. It gives you Gladiator, Howitzer, Speedster, Thief, Wingman, Shutdown, and Workhorse. So we add the Thief in here, and I think it's huge because it solidifies the middle and actually makes your face-offs a lot better than they already were, as well as adding a Sidney Crosby, who's a dynamic player and way better than Guy Carboneau. If we either compare them side by side, you keep the same four team synergies, Barrage, Distributor, Spark, and Swarm. And now you have 12 Barrage, so you have a lot of flexibility to move things around with the Barrage if you wanted to, such as pulling in some other guys. Maybe you can start working on balance or something. I didn't want to rework everything to get balance because you did have some untradeables, and I think you actually have a very good team, and balance kind of isn't needed. You already have a lot of guys with hard wrist shots, and most of the guys have pretty decent endurance. I think these slight changes make your team just a little bit better. Let me know in the comments, this is me, or let me know in Discord what you think about the team. If anybody else sees the team and thinks, hey, maybe we could put this high-end guy in the place of a different guy, let, let us know. I, I think that this is probably the best way to rebuild his team for right now. The next team we're going to go over is Swaces. On his first line, he has 94 style icon Alexander Ovechkin. Then he has Austin Matthews, European Hockey Club, with a 90 overall Alexandre Texier from the NHL Moments. Daniel Chaika and Alex Petrangelo, dynamic duo, are his first defensive pair. The second line is going to be Tyler Sagan, team of the week 88 overall. Then 88, Fantasy Hockey, Sean Couturier, Nico Heischer, is going to be his right wing on the second line. Bronze icon Brad Park with Philip Hronick in his second defensive pair. Third liners are going to be Kessel. Blockbuster 89 overall from when he's a Toronto Maple Leaf. It is untradeable. The set's gone, so he's just stuck with this 89. Not saying he's stuck with it because it's Phil Kessel's actually very good for an 89 overall. But he doesn't have any team synergies. And we're going to definitely have to utilize his card. Then he has bronze Wayne Gretzky at center. Andrei Sveshnikov, winter national at right wing. Third defensive pairs, Neil Pionk and then Jamie Oleksiak. 94 flashback, 85 overall card. Fourth line is going to be bronze Guy Lafleur, bronze Mark Messier, Kevin Hayes, 94 flashback, 87 is untradeable. Then he has Kevin Lakinen and Jimmy Howard's primetime cards with Michael Davidson as the coach to activate Swarm. So he has Gladiator, Magician, Shutdown, Workhorse, then Swarm activated. Let's see, maybe we can add Distributor. I think Distributor is a key team synergy that you need to be competitive at a higher level. So let's see what we can do to hopefully activate Distributor on this team and not cost too many coins. His team will be on the right. My team advice will be on the left. So on the first line, Ovechkin, Matthews, Texier is going to say the exact same. On the defense is where you have the first changes. We're going to bring in this Matt Duba, primetime 89 overall. Really, you just need to bring in a defenseman that has a distributor. I picked Duba because he has Gladiator as well. There were some on the market on PlayStation 4, and they weren't too expensive for what you were getting out of this Duba. Then we have Tory Krug's 89 team of the week. That's going to replace Chaika and Petra Angelo. This Tori Krug actually plays very well at 94 speed, 88 acceleration, 94 agility by only having the Gladiator, Howitzer, and Distributor with no spark. The acceleration is going to be down a little bit, but he plays up to a 90.75 with just his two player synergies and then a team synergy activated. Pretty good defense awareness at 95. Then he has 90 stick checking. Really liking this card, how it fits into your team. Looking on the second line, we have Bronze, Mario Lemieux, then we have Sean Couturier, 88 overall. I'm going to leave him the exact same. He's actually an untradeable card. We're going to sell the Sagan and the Heischer. Bring in Steve Schutt. 
His bold card, actually another card that does have the howitzer and distributor. He plays an 89.55. Great shot at 91 plus. Pretty much 93 across the board. And then the slap shockers, he gets a 91. His 89 speed, 84 acceleration. I think you'll fit in very well with the Lemieux and Couturier on this line. Second defensive pair is going to be team of the week, 87 Tyson Berry. Then 88 team of the week, Morgan Riley. Both good defensemen. We're using them for synergy plugs to activate some player synergies. Because we needed to make your team have distributor, I use player synergies to make up for not having as many team synergies. I think that's the best way to go about it right now. And a lot of these team of the week cards are pretty well priced. Then we're going to have Phil Kessel, Gretzky, Sveshnikov on the third line, just the same way you have it. We're going to get rid of this Pionk and Oleksiak. We're going to bring in this Makar. You're going to build him up. You can build him up to only an 85, 84. I got him at an 86 here. But you want to make sure you get the shutdown for this defensive pair, put bronze icon Brad Park with him. And I think that's a pretty decent third defensive pair for how your team is. Then we have Guy Lafleur and Mark Messi, a bronze icon with Kevin Hayes on the fourth line. I'm okay with that. We're going to bring in Vasilevsky and Gaudreau for synergies. Get rid of this Jimmy Howard and Lekkinen. And you're going to have to pick up Brian Fiddler as your coach. Get rid of Michael Davidson. What this does for your team is it allows you to have Gladiator, Howitzer, Shutdown Workhorse, as well as Distributor. So that... The workhorse and distributor here actually allows Ovi to be 91 acceleration, 91 speed. So you see a big uptick in Ovi. Should give you more production as well as the Matthews is still productive enough with the workhorse. I mean, workhorse in general, you just have on your f first line. So there's really no read to have this Heischer here just for workhorse. It doesn't make any sense because you're five out of four. Well, you're actually seven out of four on your build. So you had a bunch of guys with workhorse like Chaika and whatnot. It doesn't make sense. It makes sense to take those guys out and get some more, some more defensive minded defensemen. I really do think this is the way to go with your team. The Morgan Riley is another guy very well priced, 91 speed, 88 acceleration. Just a very good base attribute card, and he plays up to an 89.55 by just having shutdown and distributor. So it's one of those guys, I try to fill your roster with guys just like this Barry too, plays up to an 89.25 from 87, that are just better players, team of the week, that are affordable cards the biggest one that we might have to switch if you can't find him is duba or if he's too pricey talk about it in direct messages and we'll figure out maybe a different solution for this duba spot here but i he's definitely a great card for what you have to pay for him price wise of what it was on playstation 4 let me know what you think about the review you can either direct message me you can leave some comments down below but swayce i think this is actually the way you should go i think you should build your team for a distributor get rid of that swarm and then build up some player synergies around a distributor for right now and then we'll slowly work you towards i think spark in the future or you could go back to swarm but i think spark might be the answer unless you want to upgrade this brad park to silver icon but i think the silver icon brad park's probably just cheaper to buy than to invest all the icon collectibles to get them either way let me know the last team we're gonna go over is jay legs team he has silver icon mario lemieux on the first line left wing then he has sean Couture, a 92 overall fantasy hockey card with austin matthew style icon 94 on the right wing First defensive pair is Zach Ferensky and the wheelman John Carlson. Second line is going to be bronze icon Guy Lafleur, Daryl Sittler, silver icon, JVR89, team of the week. I love this card. I hope he gets an NHL all-star card because I think that he would be fun to play with. Then we got Jeff Petrie and Duncan Keith, second defensive pair. Third line is going to be Mark Anikas, bronze Wayne Gretzky. Then he has the Connor McDavid, 87 from the event. Then he has Eric Carlson, litter grade 86, Jake Gartner, 94 flashback, Carolina Hurricanes. Bronze icon Jean Beliveau, bronze icon Joe Sackett with Thomas Hurdle, 94 flashback, fourth line. That's actually a nasty fourth line. Then we have Jacob Markstrom and Ben Bounds for his goaltenders to give you some spark. Brian Fiddler's the coach for three distributor. On his team, he has Howitzer, Speedster, distributor, and spark as his synergies. Pretty basic synergies. I think we can improve this team a little bit on how to kind of move forward. Let's see what we can do for him. Original team is on the right. My team review is on the left. So what I did is I went ahead and kind of built how you should build for Swarm, in my opinion. I think you can add Swarm. It'll take a few coins to do so. But I think you can add Swarm and do it with pretty decent price things. Now, we'll see what happens with some of the guys here. Because obviously, with the gold icons coming out, I wasn't too sure that they were going to come out. Obviously, I built this team review a couple hours before those gold icons came out. I don't think it switches anything right now, but I think some of the prices of silver icons might become outrageous in the short term. We will see how it affects the market, but I do think this is kind of the way forward if you want to build Swarm. A little bit more of a long-term team advice, because short term, just adding a piece here or there obviously can help your team, but we're looking to build a third team synergy for you. I think it's the best way to go. On the first line, we have Mario Lemieux, silver icon. Then we have fantasy hockey, Sean Couturier, 92. 
Austin Matthews, 94, going to keep the same line. Defense going to stay the same too. John Carlson, Jack, Zach Varensky. Where you get some changes is on the second line. We got Guy Lafleur, bronze icon, going to stay in that left wing. We're going to build Jean Beliveau up to a silver icon, put him on the second line centerman here. Connor McDavid, build him up to 94 because you do get the thief as well as it will help with the howitzer that we do need. The Jean Beliveau, when you upgrade him to Silver Icon, he gets up to a 95 overall if you have Thief and these three player synergies. So he turns into a monster, in my opinion. 94 acceleration, 93 speed, 97 agility. He has 92 plus for a shot, 96 body checking, 96 strength. And his defense is where he really shines. 98 defense awareness, 99 stick checking, 91 faceoffs, 85 discipline. His hands are pretty much maxed for hand-eye passing and puck control. Then he has 98 offense awareness, 97 deking. I think he's a phenomenal card when you upgrade him to a silver icon. On a second defensive pair, we're going to get rid of Jeff Petrie, even though I think this is a very good defenseman. You don't really have his synergies activated here, so I'm just going to pull him out. We're going to bring in Vili Sarajavi that has the shutdown and swarm. Duncan Keith is going to stay as his defensive partner. For the third line, we're going to pick up this silver icon, Mike Gartner. I think he's cheaper to buy in the market than he is to build. Wayne Gretzky stays the centerman on this line. Daryl Sittler goes from the second line centerman over to the third line right wing. Jamie Drysdale comes in here, need him for two swarm NHL 2030. There's also another defenseman that you can buy from the NHL 2030 set that's an 86 overall. I can't think of his name at the moment, but he's another guy that if you direct message me and you say, hey, the Drysdale is too expensive, I will get you another guy that can fit into this swarm spot very easily. Then we have Jake Gartner that we're going to keep on your team. And by getting Sarajavi, he actually can activate this shutdown for Jake Gartner, which I think is pretty big, and it helps Jake Gartner out quite a bit. As well as picking up Mike Gartner allows that shutdown to be activated too. So I think that's pretty big here is getting the Gartner and Sarajavi to have shutdown. It helps them out. Fourth line, we got Thomas Hurdle, Joe Sackick. I just swapped them. You had all lefties on the fourth line. I figured it was fine. Look at the Saku Koivu. Now, the franchise great came in, and you could trade him in, and everyone realized there wasn't going to be a sunset. Set so they start selling these Saku Koivus, the Jerome McGinnis from the franchise. Great for super dirt cheap, even the Drew Dowdies. I think that the value of the Saku Koivu is wonderful at 180k. Some of them were selling for like 150k. If you can pick up a Saku Koivu for that price, one of the best fourth liners in the game. If you don't have like a super super high end team, Markstrom is going to say he's your goaltender. I think he's big bodied. If he's doing well for you, he's doing well for you. Another option could be this Elvis Mers Lincolns. And I think this Merce Lincolns is one of the better goaltenders. A six foot three has pretty good attributes. Comes with two swarm. Get rid of this Ben Bounds. You should be able to switch out Merce Lincolns and Ben Bounds like just an equal swap like that. It shouldn't be a big deal. Then we got Brian Fiddler as your coach still. I think this is the way to go if you want to build swarm. I think this is the cheapest way to do it with the best players. If that makes sense. Like you're getting the best value out of upgrading your players to what you're upgrading them to. And what this does is gives you howitzer, speedster, thief. And shut down. So we add two more player synergies and we add a team synergy of swarm. So you have distributor, spark, and swarm. I think there's a way to go, man. It's a little bit long term. Let me know what you think about it on Discord or you can let me know in the comments down below. Anybody watching, if you're not one of these three guys, please comment and kind of help them out if you think that, hey, man, maybe this player would fit better here than what. I suggested a lot of my advice is pretty darn good, but I do think there's sometimes somebody else looks at it and says, oh man, that card just fits better. Pop that in there. Oh man, it does fit better. I'm all for everybody helping each other out. That's going to wrap up the team reviews of the three subscribers that are This Is Me, Swaces, and J Leg 8. Let me know what you guys think about your reviews in the comments down below or let me know on Discord. I hope it helped you guys out, kind of guide you in the short term and or the long term about how to build your team up to make it just a little bit better. If you're watching this video and you're not one of the three guys that got your team review, but you want to have your team review by me, it's three easy steps. First, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel. Second, you're going to have to join the Discord. The link will be in the description down below. Third, you need to take your team URL from NHL Hut Builder and place it into the subscriber team URL channel that's on Discord. Whenever you join the Discord, if you're not curious where your link goes, just ask somebody. I promise you somebody will help you find the location to put your URL for your team from NHL Hub Builder. Also, just so you guys know, the reviews are first come, first serve. If you provide your team to me, I will get to it in a review. There is sometimes a long queue, and I'm trying to knock that out as quickly as possible. As always, I appreciate all of your guys' support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with any of your friends that play NHL 21. Also, hit that notification bell so you know I'm uploading more videos. You guys have a great day, and be safe.